subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, everybody! Today we're flying on a magic carpet. Woohoo! Let's head south. Um, what's south, Paula? There are four main directions we can travel to, Billy. Let me show you on a map of the world. North, east, south, and west. Well, I just want to go high up where the clouds are. Does that mean we need to make more clouds? Why don't we count the number of clouds we have and find out? Let's call for the numbers. many clouds we have. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight nine. nine. Nine clouds. That's a lot, Tim. Can we make just one more so it'll feel like we're flying in Cloudland? I think we still have some paper here. Great. Hey, it's an old lamp. How did it get here? It says that if we return the lamp, we can make a wish, and it will come true. Well, that sounds amazing. But where do you think we should go? Um, Paula, there's sand inside the lamp. There's only one place that's filled with sand and mysterious old things. Let's go to the desert. <laughs> Hello, children. How can I help you today? We want to ask you about this lamp. Have you seen it before? Hmm, I have not. But I have heard many stories about a lamp with this symbol that grants wishes. Do you know where we should go to return it, Mr. Merchant? All the stories say the same thing that you must go to where the sun rises. The sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. Great, so we just need to go east. But I don't know where east is. East is in that direction. Thank hey, you, Mr. Merchant. Merchant. Let me join you, children. Hopefully, we will find more signs that can help us on the way. Thanks, Mr. Merchant. I can't wait to see if this lamp can really make our wishes come true. Your calculator has spotted something. Let's go up to see if it is a sign. Oh, it's the same symbol as on the lamp. Maybe we're supposed to use the spades to find our next clue? Well, since we came this far, it doesn't hurt to try. A sled and a box. I think we're supposed to use the sled to ride down this hill. But to where? It's an old piece of paper, Mr. Merchant. Hmm, it says to return the lamp, we have to ride the sled to the south. Which way is south, Mr. Merchant? Unfortunately, the sun is right above us, so I can't tell you now where south is. Hey! Chucky found something else in the box. That's a compass. It's something people use to help them tell directions. Perfect. We can use this compass to help us find where south is. Step one. Hold the compass flat in your hand. If you don't hold it flat enough, it might not work. Step two. Turn the compass until the needle points to N. Cool. The needle always points in the same direction, no matter how we turn it. That's perfect. See how the needle now points to N? That means north is in that direction. Now for step three. Use the opposite direction to find south. That means south is in this direction. Which is over there. Let's hop onto the sled and slide down that way.
Maybe we should put the lamp there? Let's give it a try, Billy. Wow! Yeah. Huh? Why did it turn into a flying carpet? <laughs> All this traveling made me tired, so I was wishing for a ride home when I put the lamp there. Well, at least we get to ride a real flying carpet. Hooray! Yay! We learned how to use a compass, and we get to ride a flying carpet, Paula. That's right, Billy. Which means we have successfully completed our mission. And we did it with your help at home! Number of the day! Nine, Nine clouds. clouds! Nine, Nine flying carpets! carpets. Today, we learned a lot about directions. Like how the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Too bad we couldn't bring the flying carpet back home. This'll have to do. I'm heading north. Here you go. Do join us on our next adventure. Click subscribe and hit the bell icon.